While laying a foundation stone for Day Biopharma Laboratory, President Yori Museveni noted that it is crucial for the country to invest in its own people as opposed to always becoming an obstacle to their development. He applauded Equity Bank for investing in this pharmaceutical project. So I really congratulate the team of Magora and Chakuraga. Use the knowledge you, you, you got to, 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 to really sort of all this backlog of research in the African diseases so that we get rid of them and then we go to these other uh, non-communicable diseases which are, are On now the value of doing uh, research the and developing new drugs in Africa, the president said that Africa must learn how to take care of itself by developing its own drugs. The question of the neglected African diseases, that's very true. You hear that because the Europeans are not dying from malaria, they don't care about doing research in the malaria, malaria drugs. They, they just use the old ones. There's even a, a disease called uh, uh, hepatitis A. Recently, I was asking one of the doctors, why is there a vaccine for hepatitis B, but there's no vaccine for hepatitis A? Because they say there's no vaccine for it. There's no vaccine, I think, for hepatitis C also. Now, I, I think what one of the doctors told me is that maybe in Europe they don't have much of the hepatitis A. That's why nobody has bothered to look for the vaccine. So what is killing Africans is none of... But why should they care? It is us to, to, to care for ourselves. The Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, who was present at the function, said that she is a firm believer in Uganda's capacity to develop its own pharmaceutical industries, and that's the reason she supported Day Biopharma Company. Uh, I'm a believer in uh, Uganda. I'm a believer in uh, our capacity to develop. So that's why I have been very supportive in all the things that uh, have been done by Day Group. The chairman and managing director of Day Biopharma Company, Matthias Magola, said the objective of the facility is to discover the, the new compounds for drugs, which is possible because Uganda has 70% biodiversity, making it a breeding ground for identifying new drugs. He said that the company is to produce all types of life-saving medicine of high quality and sell them at a low cost to Ugandans and globally. He also noted that this would reduce the burden of importing drugs to Uganda, some of which are even fake. We are going to put a, another facility right here to make vaccines, to make the latest cancer drugs, monoclonal antibodies, and we have all the formulation, all the dosia for the first time on the African continent. Now, this project is also going to be approved by WHO. It's worth noting that in support of the fight against coronavirus, Day Biopharma Company donated a brand new pickup to the medical sector and seven tons of posho to feed the vulnerable poor. Priscilla Namara reporting.